Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to the channel. So, uh, beans are done. We're back on corn now. So, uh, we started picking some corn uh, yesterday afternoon, and uh, we're having some pretty good luck. Everything's running smooth, except for one thing the thresher door on the M3 is leaking shell corn. Uh, so, what I'm going to do is I've got my little art captain welder out here great little welder for doing stuff like this out in the field i mean look how lightweight this is you can carry it to the top of a grain bin you can carry it to the top of a combine do whatever you need to do throw it in the back seat of the truck and go so i'm gonna run it with my hobart welder generator which i've never done this before with it uh you're probably asking why don't you just stick weld it well it's kind of some thin stuff under there so i'd rather use a little wire welder if i can so uh never run it off a welder generator yet I know I burnt my uh, 210 MP Lincoln up doing this on our big Miller generator. Uh, a lot of people said that it was dirty voltage that caused the motherboard to burn out in that welder. So we're going to try the Arc Captain on it, see what happens. If it survives, it's good quality. We'll see what happens. So I gotta crawl under there, get set up, and I'll do some welding. All right, so we're under the uh, Thrasher housing of the M3 right now, and uh, this is the Thrasher door. This door is meant to blow open when there's a blockage or a rock or something like that. And uh, this one has suffered some damage uh, prior to me buying this combine because you got severe cracks up here on both sides. Uh, they've been welded up, but not the best. <clears throat> the problem is, is I believe this wall across here is bent. You can see somebody added this uh, flat plate here trying to extend it out. And... Uh, to compensate for that bend so in theory this combine really needs a new thrasher housing put on it and i'm gonna see if i can find one in a dismantling yard for it eventually because everything's broke up everything's bent up and with this being back it's not holding this door up tight and it's it's leaking drain along here so they originally had some shims welded in there and they broke out when we had the thrasher door open the other day. This door doesn't even work the way it's supposed to. We had to jerk it open with a pickup because it's so tight and rusted up. So I just want to get this combine back together so I can pick some corn with it. Um, just have to fix it when I got time. You know, it's going to be a good sized project, you know, putting a new thrasher housing on it if I can find one. But the combine's worth doing it it's worth fixing it's just suffered a lot of not being fixed properly let's put it that way so let's get these welded in so we can get back at it Basically, all I need is some good tacks on them to hold them in. I got this one right here. Got to weld him in so he keeps some pressure on there. This is basically one of those bush fixes, but with rain in the forecast, we want to get it done. Darn helmet fell off. Hang on. Got corn stalks burning and everything else down here. Flux core wire is always fun to weld with. 
All right, that's going to do it to it. That'll definitely work. I'm going to keep that door shut. It's tight right now. There's no shell pouring going to get out of there. I had a chisel drove in it last night, but the vibration shook the chisel out and lost my good chisel out in the field. But hey, got another, uh, another uh, what was it, thousand bushel of grain out of the field. So hey, I can buy a new chisel for that. No big deal. Oh look, got some, got a little bit of incense burning down here. Let me put that out before we catch the field on fire. All right, let's go pick some corn. Well, we did learn that the Arc Captain welder will run off the 145 Champion Hobart welder generator. This is the MiG-130. It runs off of it just fine. Well, so far so good. The crasher door is staying shut. Got all these point rows to pick here. Top 
That way it gives me a little reserve capacity so I don't have to, as soon as the light comes on, stop. I mean, you don't have to like stop sudden, but you need to stop within the next five, six feet or you're gonna have corn coming over the top. Just things I need to do when I get some time. Drive back to the truck and don't. I'm going to have to stay moving so George has another load when he gets back since Dad's not picking right now. At 2388, I'll put out some shell corn. Alright, I'm going to drive back to the truck and dump and we'll get back at it. Well, we're going to pick some corn in the low ground. Dad got down here at 2388 and he backed out. This is where we took the beaver dam out a couple of weeks ago.
6 o'clock tonight, so I thought I'd better jump in the 2388 and shell some corn so I can get some pretty quick so I can load the semi and go again for the night. I'd like to get one more empty for this evening, for later tonight. So I'm going to finish unloading in the truck. Dad had the hopper full. He uh, took off with the other truck and ran into the elevator. So I got a green cart almost full, full hopper on a 2388. If I can get another one or so, I'll be able to fill the trailer. And I can go.
I'm fourth truck in line. When I got here, I was like seventh or eighth. So the, the line's moving, just not real quick. But I did bring some reading material that just came in the mail. Got the parts catalog for John Deere 690B. So I've been reading up on that, studying some stuff for Zach's new excavator, his 690B. So, uh, not completely boring. Should have probably brought my phone charger though. But I think I got plenty of battery to get me through till we're done. So, anyways, this is probably going to be it for tonight. Uh, by the time I get back to the field, Dad will probably have enough to fill uh, at least half semi, and then we'll just have to top it off. So, probably won't be much going on the rest of the evening. So, uh, we'll just end this one right here. So, uh, thank you for watching. Greatly appreciate it. We'll see you all in the next one. I apologize. I've gotten so many great comments on videos. I just haven't had time to get back with everybody. Uh, we have just been busy as can be, you know, burning the, burning the candle at both ends and in the middle. And just uh, when I get home at night, I, I'm dead tired. So I just haven't had a chance to respond to some of them. I've picked some out that were uh, seemed to be kind of things that I needed to answer right away. Uh, but uh, I just want everybody to know that I do read through the comments. I do analyze the comments, and I appreciate each and every one of the comments. So thank you. Keep commenting. I really appreciate that. So, all right, I got to pull up. So thanks for watching.